one of the requirements for the 9702 paper 5, question number two is to complete a table of which it will be having some uncertainties. Right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate uncertainties and incorporate them in the table. So I'm going to use past papers to show how each and every type of uncertainty is calculated. Remember to subscribe to the Physics Tips for Cambridge Students YouTube channel and like, share as well as to comment. Without much further ado, let's get started. The first scenario here is coming from the May June 2023 paper 5.3 but the references have put them on the top right. In this one, you are asked to find C in this column and the formula will be given. So that's that. C is equal to this product of CP and CQ over the sum of CP and CQ. In this case, I'm not going to go over the calculations that much, but I'm just going to go over the first one. The, so the, for the first one, if the indices are the same, like you see 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 4, and your answer also to 10 to the power 4, so which means you can just work with these numbers as they are, 2.2, times 1.5 over 2.2 plus 1.5 or in brackets. So if you do the maths there, you are going to get a 0 0.89. So remember, the number of SF is the same. So 2SF there, 2SF there. So you express this as well to 2SF for consistency. The second one there will just be 1.3, again 2SF, 2SF. Third one, 1.6, 1.0, 1 1.2, and 2.1. You are then asked to find T. Now, the formula for T is going to be the average of these two. So T is that. So you're going to just say for the first one, T is equal to 12.9 plus 14.5 over 2 you're going to get 13.7, 20.4, if you do the maths there, 24.3, uh, 16.1, 18.3, and 31.5. Now, to get the uncertainties in such a scenario, this is taught in the paper three, where you find half the range. So the uncertainty in T is going to be equal to half the range. So what do you mean by half the range? So it's going to be the maximum value of T minus the minimum value of T divided by two. So I'm just going to put the modulus function there. So in this case, 14.5 is greater than 12.9. So it's 14.5 will subtract 12.9, then find half of that. So if you do the maths there, you get 0 0.8. So do the same thing here. In this case, 21.1 is greater than this. So this one subtracts that. So half that range will be 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and 0 0.6. So that's how we calculate the uncertainties in such a case. Now moving on to the second scenario. In this case here, we need to find average T, uh, the thickness. So it's going to be 0 0.19 plus 0 0.13 over 2. So that's going to give you 0 0.16, 0 0.25, 0 0.42, 0 0.56, 0 0.66, and 0 0.76. So that's from the October, November 2021. Then plus or minus, plus or minus, Right, because they want the uncertainties in T, the average T. Now, again, the same way that we did in the first one, we're going to say half the range. So it's going to be 0 0.19 minus 0 0.13 over 2. So if you do that, it's going to give you 0 0.03. So this 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.02, using that formula. 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 again. We then given it a fourth column that's R and are required to find 
LNR. So to get LNR, the rule of thumb here is that SF will change to decimal places when finding logarithms, whether to base E or to base 10. So LNR, LN47.7 is going to give you 3.865 to three decimal places. So these are now decimal places. So three SF to three decimal places. That's the rule of thumb. Remember, in all these, you're allowed to add one more SF, uh, but then I prefer you just working with what the minimum. So that's three decimal places. So three SF to three decimal places. LN44 would be 3.784. And this one, 3.643. This one, 3.535. Next one, 3.456 and 3.391 that's how this is done now moving on to the next scenario so in this case now you are given theta h and m and this is from the may june 2023 paper 52 we given a formula so v is equal to pi d squared h over 4. now we just apply the formula here but we've got to be careful because our h is in millimeters our D is in millimeters, but then our V is in cubic meters. So we just have to convert to meters first as we are doing the calculation. So V is equal to pi D squared H. So for the first one, so that's going to be pi times D, which is 27.9 times 10 to the power of minus three. That's squared times H, which is 62.4 times 10 to the power of minus three again. And then this is divided by four. So if you do that, you're going to get 3.81 times 10 to the power of minus five. Since this is times 10 to the power of minus five, you just record it as 3.81. So the next one will be 3.99, uh, 4.16, 4.33, 4.48, 4.49, 4.50, now then they want you to find absolute uncertainties in v so we're going to get plus or minus we are going to calculate v with a maximum value of d so it's going to be pi times maximum d squared h i think from the formula comes h over four minus the value of v that we calculated there already this is supposed to be in between the so it's going to be pi maximum value of D squared H over four minus the value of V that you calculated already there. So to get the maximum value of D, we're going to say 27.9 plus 0 0.1, which is going to be 28.0. So it's going to be pi times 28.0 squared. Remember, this is times 10 to the power of minus three, again, times H 62.0. 4 for the first one times 10 to the power of minus 3 over 4 minus this 3.81 that we've already calculated. That's the maximum minus the value of V that you calculated. So if you do the maths well, there you're going to get 0 0.03. For the second one, again, 0 0.03. Third one, 0 0.04. 0 0.04. 0 0.04. And 0 0.04. Right, that's how it's going to be done. Now, the fourth scenario, we are going to find uncertainty in a situation whereby you have got a setting somewhere. In this case, the time-based setting. This is from the 970252, October, November 2022. We are given a formula, time period being equal to D times the time base. Now, be it known unto you that the time-based setting does not affect the number of SF in the calculation. So this is just a number that's being used to set. So don't ever say uh, T is now going to be to one SF because that's the least number of SF. No, you just have to look at the data that has been measured. So D has been measured and is to two SF, so which means your value of Big T should also be to 2SF in that regard. 
So I'll do the first calculation there where we have D is 1.4. So that's going to be T is equal to 1.4 times 5, because the setting there is 5. And that's going to give you 7.0 milliseconds. To SF, please. Then the second one, 2.9 times 1, so which is just 2.9. The third one, 3.6 times 0 0.5, which will be 1.8. The fourth one, 2.7 times 0 0.5, that's 1.4. 2.1 times 0 0.5, that's 1.1. And 8.8 .8 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.88. So that's 2SF there. We are also required to find the frequencies. I'll do the uncertainties later. So do the frequency now, we're given the formula F is equal to 1 over T. For the first one, F is equal to 1 over 7.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Remember that milliseconds there, and that should give you 143. Thereabouts. So to 2SF again, it's going to be 140 hertz. Again, we'll be asked to find the uncertainties in F. The second one, 1 over 2.9 times 10 to the power of minus 3. That should give you 343 thereabout. So to 2SF will be 340. The next one, this is 555. Five, five. That's 560 to 2SF. 714.28 to 2SF, that would be 710. 909.09 .09 to 2SF, that's 910. And then the last one. 1136.36 to 2SF, that's just 1,100. Now, finding the uncertainties, remember we always use the maximum minimum method. And here, to get the uncertainty for the first value, we are going to use the maximum D times the time base setting. So the maximum D here was going to be 1.6, because this 1.4 plus or minus 0 0.2, so that's going to be 1.6. So 1.6 times 5 minus uh, t that we found there is 7. That comes 8 minus 7. That gives you 1 millisecond. So that will be plus or minus 1. So to 1 SF, that's just 1. And then the second one, maximum d is to 3.1 times 1. So that's 3.1 minus 2.9, uh, 0 0.2 to 1 SF. Next one. 3.8 times 0 0.5, 1.9. 1 1.9 minus 1.8, that gives you 0 0.1. 2.9 here for the maximum times 0 0.5 minus 1.4, 0 0.1 again. 2.3 times 0 0.5 minus 1.1, 0 0.1 again. And then the last one, 8.8 .8 plus 0 0.29 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.9. 0 0.9 minus 0 0.88. So that gives you 0 0.02. So you're going to get all these uncertainties. Similarly, when you want to find the uncertainty in the frequency, we are now saying the maximum value of the frequency minus this frequency. Now to get the maximum value of the frequency, one over T minimum, so to get F maximum, you say T minimum positive on the denominator, minus 140. So that's the uncertainty in the frequency. T minimum, in this case, is going to be 6.9, because that's 7.0 plus or minus 1. So that's 6.9. So 1 over 6.9 minus 140. So this times 10 to the power of minus 3. Don't forget that. You convert to SI units. Then this minus 140. So 23.8 to 1 SF is just 20. The second one, we have 2.7. So 1 over 2.7 times 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 340. 25.5 to 1 SF, that's 30. For the next one, you should get 40. If I'm not mistaken, just do it. Then let me know in the comments. Then the next one, 80. And then the next one, again, should be 80. And then the last one, they should be 30. So let me know in the comment section how you managed to calculate these ones. 
then the last one is on logarithms right how to calculate uncertainties for logarithms now the rule of thumb that i've already said to you is uh, sf will change to decimal places when taking down logarithms for example log of m log of 4.8 there it's going to be 0 0.68 to sf there changing to two decimal places over there they want you to include uncertainties for log m so they will leave a plus or minus there. logarithm of 1.4 0 0.15 so you repeat the same for everything log of 6.4 log of 3.1 you do that you're going to get 0 0.81 here and then there's 0 0.49 it's 1.08 remember that's two decimal places to sf here you're going to get 1 1.1, 1.36, 2.54, 1.63, 3.56. Lastly, 1.96 and 4.82. Now to get the uncertainties in the logarithms, you are going to say log of the maximum value minus the log of the, the value that we've calculated so log of the maximum maximum there is 5.2 because that's 4.8 plus 0 0.4 so log of 5.2 minus 0 0.68 right. so if you do that you're going to get 0 0.03 the next one 0 0.02 0 0.07, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, and 0 0.02. So you'll be just going maximum minus that. There are other methods of finding the uncertainties. Remember, you can say maximum minus minus the mean. The mean value is the one that you've calculated, right? Or you can go mean minus the smallest. So when you go smallest, you are taking 4.8 minus 0 0.4, that would be 4.4. .4. So log of 4.4 .4 being subtracted from uh, 0 0.68. Or you can go the maximum minus the smallest or minimum divided by 2. So that's also a way of finding uncertainties. So I've gone over everything that you may encounter in an exam that is in terms of uncertainties, how to deal with them. I hope this has been helpful and uh, useful to you as you are preparing for your paper five exam, signing out.